What are you doing, man? <laughs> I'm cleaning the cow stall. Cleaning it? Yeah, I'm cleaning the cow stall. Huh. Mud, well, muck, mucking the cow stall. I thought you needed a pitchfork for that. Uh, well, I'll use a pitchfork later, but right now what I'm doing is uh, we have lots of chickens and turkeys and guineas, and they do a lot of scratching, and I just encourage them to scratch. Now, a chicken will dig for a cow poop or horse poop, and they'll get maggots that flies have laid on the poop, which... Uh, when they clean up the poop like that, it reduces the odor and uh, keeps flies from developing. And I'm just throwing some corn down in the area, encouraging them to scratch a little deeper. And I do this actually every morning. And then we only have to uh, use a pitchfork about once, maybe once a month. Because these birds will get in here and scratch through this. They'll turn it over for me and air it out. And it's the only thing that scratch, chicken scratch or uh, cracked corn is good for. It. The nutrition level in chicken scratch or cracked corn is pretty low. But when you add it to the manure that they're digging through, they're getting bugs and they're getting uh, um, oat and barley and more corn that's already been processed through the cow. So they're getting a pretty good diet. And as you can see, they're more than willing to help me out. And turkeys will come in here and eat the heaviest part of the corn. And the chickens will spend the day, the, the guineas kind of eat the heavy part too. But the chickens will actually get in here and scratch through this all day long. See that one over there? Watch how she's starting to scratch. As they scratch it, they're turning it over, they're aerating it, and they're eating up all the, the waste material. So it's a, you see more coming in the door here, they, they hear there's a party in there. So don't spend your day in here going through the cow manure. And I don't have to do any pitchforking for maybe a month. I'll pitch fork it and turn it over twice. And then the next month I'll come in and throw more straw down, which also will uh, absorb the moisture in it. But it's a good way. It's a good way to get your barn cleaned up and keep it not smelling for days at a time. So that's my self-cleaning barn team. And that, boys and girls, is why we do not eat our turkeys or chickens. Uh, it is not. <laughs>